Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. Let's finish up the wedge so we can get that tail glued together. All right, so here's what we're gonna have to do today. And it's gonna be, uh, my day might be a multiple day process. For you guys, it should just be a few minutes. Uh, what I have to do um, because you can see it's all glued up and I had to and I, I got it removed and all the glue came off uh, if you ever do what I did with this one uh, I knew the glue was probably gonna come off the foam um, so what I did was when it came off I didn't fight it I just went ahead and just came under you can almost see a little bit of scrape marks came under with a uh, with a knife a dull knife and just started prying it up so when I got it completely off um, I just went ahead and put the little shell uh, in pretty much just a little bowl of warm water. Just let it sit in there for about 20 minutes. Came in and even though it's a, it's a water safe glue, um, when it got underneath it, it softened it and it allowed me, because it's, it, it became rubbery again, it allowed me to just peel it off on the inside. So we're all good on this. So this, the first thing I have to do is come on in and get it all trimmed down to size. I'm going to worry about the top. I'll worry about the bottom later on. Now, the most complex part about this little piece, I got to try to figure out, let's see if I can just show you over this way, how this is going to get attached into this position. And you can see it, it's sitting pretty long because it's. I got to cut probably... I don't know, at least a half inch off the bottom and then about three eighths inch, if not a little bit more on the top. Um, so that will fit in eventually like this and then the rod's gonna come through it. But I don't have any way to attach this to the tail. So I came in and went over to the bandsaw and took some, uh, excuse me, it was a scrap uh, of Sitka spruce and I try not to throw anything out that I know I could use in the future So I went ahead and cut this up. So this is uh, pretty much 3 16th square um, And I don't know probably about three and a half inches three three and a half inches long I'm not concerned about the length of how long these are But what they're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to put these in on the side and that's when this is put in and glued into place I've got some little micro screws, and I'll show you as, I, as, I, as we progress through this one um, that I'm going to go ahead, and I'll have little holes drilled in here so I can run the, the little micro screws through here. And that's not the only thing that's going to hold it in place. I'll put a little bit of uh, contact cement in there as well. It's just going to go ahead and act like the glue. So if I have to take this off, and that's kind of why I'm doing this, if I had to take it off for any reason, it would be relatively easy to at least pull it off and rotate it so I can get to the screws to try to drop uh, the landing gear assembly. That's the only reason I'm doing it like I'm doing it. So what I'll probably do right now is, is go ahead and put this back on the little mold, get the, the lines drawn where I want to cut it, and then get the Dremel with the little rotary cutoff tool on it. Uh, I'll get it all cut out and sanded it. It's still going to be on the large size. I'm not going to cut it down to its final size until I get these little things glued into position. And that's going to be the fun part. Because part of the fun part is that I beveled these edges to make the original uh, balsa piece fit. So what I'm probably going to have to do is come, on, come on in and just go over the bandsaw or however I'm gonna do it, just go ahead and cut some of that off so I can epoxy this into place on the side of it uh, so it becomes the width that it's gonna to need to be the final overall width of this part for where I'm gonna attach the uh, screws to it. And it's, it's, it's gonna be more complex than I want it to be, but I'll show you guys as I progress along. Three days later. All right, the only thing I really wanna get done today is I want to get this thing put on. It's going to be fun. All right, so what I did, you can see, I already cut it out, got it trimmed down to the approximate size, and I have been sanding this thing. I've been working on this thing for probably about, I don't know, 45 minutes, just getting it down to where it is now, and, it's, and it looks like it should be pretty close to the same size. I'd rather still leave it a little bit big and then just go ahead and sand more off. 
So what I decided to do, and, and you'll see, because I've got everything started, I just don't have it done yet. Um, I was going to go ahead and use these little pieces of uh, spruce uh, on the sides of the tail and where the, where the vertical stabilizer goes down and attaches the back of the fuselage. Um, I, I opted for, for a, a just balsa, um, just because this was going to be a little bit more difficult to work with at the angle that it was at. So what I did is instead of using balsa down at the bottom, I used a little bit bigger piece of this and went ahead and cut it out. And that's what's going to attach the bottom. So, uh, so let me go ahead. I'll get my other camera reset back up again and I'll show you what I did on the back. All right. It has been a very long day. Let me show you kind of where we're at with this. The gap is pretty good. I'm happy with the gap on there. And you can see it's pretty even from the top all the way down to the bottom. And that's how this is going to sit on. Uh, what I still have to do before this gets attached with the screws, because here's what I'm using. They're little uh, quarter inch number twos screws. That's what's going to hold this on. I'll probably put one down here and one, maybe two up at the top. And you'll see what it's going to fasten into when I slide this thing off. But what I've got is I got, if you can see the little markers here, I got to transfer these over uh, to whatever you want to call it, the wedge, the little cover for it. It's got it on both sides, so it's, it's evenly marked on both sides. Uh, and then I'm going to get my little square, and I'll bring this little sucker on there, and then we'll just, uh, I'll transfer the lines out where we're going off the vertical edge here. And uh, then I'm just going to come in probably with a little razor saw and cut it. And then as soon as I get that all cut, I'll bring you guys back uh, just to show you uh, what it looks like. But before I do that, this was what I had to do. I came in and instead of using uh, the spruce, because originally I was set up to go ahead and use the spruce. And since I decided to not use this spruce, I put a block down here and up on here. I just used some, uh, some just call it heavy balsa. Um, on the sides and that's going to get a they'll probably get covered. I'll put some more covering on it uh, And then wrap it around the back side of this and if I want to I can put epoxy over the top of it So that way it's going to have the fabric weave going around it So when the screws go in it's not going to bust anything apart and I'll definitely do the same thing down here, too um, So anyway, so what I had to do was this piece is done this piece I put in glued the sides on sanded it down and rounded it because it had to be rounded properly for the top of this because it's it, it goes down to as you can see sorry about the noise it goes down to it goes down to pretty much nothing at the top so so like i said i was happy with the way this thing lined up so let me go ahead get this piece cut out i'll slap everything together just so you can get a quick look at it and then tomorrow we'll be epoxying the mess all right, it's sitting in its proper position. I just have not screwed it in yet. But let's see how well this wants to work back and forth without wanting to fall apart, but that's how that's gonna work with the rod coming through. So for here, I'm going upstairs, calling it a day. I'll bring you guys back tomorrow morning because tomorrow, to end this video out, this will be attached. See you tomorrow morning. the next day later all right the wedge is complete and i'll go ahead and i'll spin you around so you can see exactly what it looks like um i did not intentionally uh epoxy in the the rudder the the horizontal stabilizer and all that that's all solid uh it's going nowhere it's permanently attached and so is the vertical stabilizer the rudder itself that's going to be uh that'll come up i don't know if it's going to come up the next video or if it'll come up later on because um, I'm still contemplating if I want to leave that off uh, just so when I'm painting putting paint on it uh, it just I can have a cleaner line on the back side when I'm spraying and do the uh, do at least the leading edge of the the rudder and the trailing edge of the vertical stabilizer and the tail excuse me um, I can leave that so I can just come in do a quick little shot to get the first coat on it And then when that dries if I wanted to I can go ahead and glue it on I'll make that decision when the time comes because uh, On the Taylor craft if you want to go back a couple years in time and watch some of the videos when I painted that one 
uh, just like this plane pretty much the tail was assembled before I was able to paint it so it just it made painting interesting but it all came out looking very nicely so anyway let me grab the other camera I'll show you what it looks like all right hopefully we're gonna have a good enough amount of light down here for the camera and it's looking pretty good all right it's all attached it's got the three screws on this side and it's got the three screws on this side there's a couple little things i want to come in and, and just address i just got to figure out if i want to do it. it i don't know if you can see it right here there's a little bit of pucker it's not really a pucker it just goes in a little bit deeper uh so i may go inside go in here with a little bit of filler go ahead put it in there and then sand it so that it's coming out more level with the side of the aircraft like it is on this side and this side and, it, uh, and over here you can kind of see um, that it's doing the same thing it's just a little bit in I can go with that I can stay with that if I wish but I may just come on back just to revisit it but that will be all off-camera work so we're gonna pretty much just call this side uh, this side just about ready to go and if we listen very carefully yeah, you can't hear it from this angle. Um, we're we're just touching with the rod. It's just touching the top of the uh, of the fabric, and uh, I may just take this off because I could just slide it out. Just come in with a with a very small sanding because I got some little teeny sanding. Uh, something like this, but a lot less aggressive. Uh, just come in and just go ahead and sand. Maybe about you know maybe ten thousandths off of it just so uh, just so it clears because uh, I don't want any noise back there so anyway we're just gonna go ahead and call this video done uh, now this is video 199 I have done hundred and ninety nine videos so far on my channel the next video will be number 200 uh, I was trying to think of something special to do uh, so what I'm going to do is next video we're going to be uh, go ahead and measuring drilling holes uh, in the firewall to uh, put the control line through. The control line is called the throttle cable because I'll use uh, some, uh, um, some cable itself uh, just for the flexibility of how I want to wind it through there. Um, so we're going to go ahead we'll do that uh, for the throttle and then just uh, drill a couple holes a little bit larger than what's already in there uh, for the fuel lines to come through because my fuel line has a little bit larger outside diameter than what they originally designed the plane for. So we're going to do that and then there'll be a little bit of a little bit of shifting of gears. I'll let you guys know. There's, there's going to be something that's going to happen down here in the shop that I don't want you to know about it until uh, till next video. So anyway, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe.